Good day, wonderful viewers at home, at school, and anywhere you're watching us from. You're welcome to yet another episode on Youthful Experience right here on Fela GH TV. Today's show promises to be another exciting one, and you will never want to miss this. Today we have a fine gentleman here to help us with the introduction. And if you haven't subscribed yet, kindly do so by clicking on the notification bell so that you get alert of every post we make. You can also share to your friends to enjoy this program as well. If you're a business entity and you want to sponsor this program or place an advert, you can call management on 0550-442-973. 0550-442-973. So let's take a quick break and when we come back, the program begins. You welcome back. Today I have a fine gentleman to help me with the analysis of the topic we have for today. And today's topic is youth in national development. Youth in national development. I hope you would want to enjoy every part of this show. And to help me with this analysis is a final year student of University of Ghana and also the president of the NDC wing on campus, which is Tain University of Ghana. So he is the person of Mr. Raymond Edem Tamaklo. Mr. Raymond, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Your position is such a huge one. Uh, well, Being the, the president of TAIN on UG campus, yeah. that's a huge achievement. Congratulations at the first place. Thank you very much. Okay, so let me start with this. How is TAIN University of Ghana doing? Oh, um, before I speak about that, uh, I would like to correct that I'm 11300. Oh, okay. Yes, okay. And not the final year. Oh, I see. Wow. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Well, when it comes to TIN on campus, I believe currently that TIN is doing what is expected of it. Okay. Uh, by our mandate, we are meeting our target. Okay. Currently, TIN is the single most attractive and most vibrant student association on any campus. student would like to join wow. on campus. Wow. Uh, TIN stands for Tertiary Education Institutions Network. Okay. That is the student's extension of the NDC NDC. on campus. So aside the politics and everything we do, we are fundamentally concerned about networking, how we can grant platforms to members to develop personal and interpersonal skills. Wow. Yes. I and we are doing that. very, very well. I can see that. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. again. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's jump straight to our question. Yeah. Now we are talking about youth and national development. Exactly. Now, someone will say that in our part of the world, it looks like our presidents, our leaders, our ministers, almost everyone in our government system is an old person and not I mean, I, I can't see any youth really in our systems of, of, of governance. So let me first ask you this. Why don't the youth take part in national development or governmental issues here in Africa? So thank you very much okay. for that question. But first of all, I'd like us to understand what national, national development, development is. Okay. means. So national development is good okay. and change okay. in a country. And this change and growth comes in economic forms, okay. it comes in social forms, yeah. and it comes in cultural forms. Yeah. But sadly in Africa, the youthful population do not show interest in politics. Yeah. yeah. If you look at data, if you look at findings, um, Africa has uh, one-fifth of the world's population of youth. Yeah. Okay, Africa is a youthful continent. continent okay. When you compare with other continents, we come first when it comes to youth. Okay. But also bizarre also is the fact that Africa has the um, most aged president. It's true. Do you, do you get it? Of it course. It has the most aged president. And a, a couple of factors come together to, you know, form um, this situation we have in our part of Africa. Well, first, I would say the disincentives. Okay. It is part. And also the conservative system. Okay. These are some of the reasons why you don't see uh, the youthful population in Africa showing concern or interest in yeah. politics. Okay. Sometimes you identify a few youth okay, who are very vibrant, who have demonstrated potentials okay. and have shown that, yes, if they are given the nod, they would effect impact in society. Sure. But 
this is where the conservative factor comes in. Okay. So once they, get, they, they come into that limelight, they get onto the, the platform, they join the conservative system. Wow. So that is the conservative system I refer to here, in my own sense, okay. is a system. It is a rigged system. Okay. Where the, that, the young folks, okay, who are the helms and Achillum of Affairs, okay, benefit from. Okay. So the, the, the older folks who are managing affairs of our countries, they have a system, a rigged system, a system that works for them only. only okay. Now, if you're a youthful person and you've shown interest, okay, that, okay, I am a youth, I demand that I am given a rightful place okay. at the decision-making table. Now, there are other people who are youthful, okay, and would also want to be granted that opportunity. Okay. And so you have backing. Now, they identify that you have potentials. You are leading an ag agitation for the youth. Yeah. They handpick you and add you to the conservative system. I get you. Wow. Do you get it? Yeah, I that get That is you. how it works. Let's take um, Uganda as a classical, you know, case study. Okay. Uh, gone, in those days, uh, Yowiri Museveni okay. was a very, very strong and um, vibrant youth advocate. Okay. Okay. He was vehemently against the rig system, okay. the system that was favoring the old folks, people who are, you know, power drunk and soaked. Okay, he tried, he tried and dared to defy all odds, okay. you know, to man the affairs of the country. And now he's on note to have said that, you know, longevity of the old people in power is the single most dangerous reason why, you know, Africa is not, not having yeah. any form of development. Yeah. So people- And it's true. It, it is very true. Yeah. People bought into his idea and they were successful, okay, in overhauling that system, okay. that rigged system. He became president, wow. okay, and he has been president. It was, uh, it was a time when people felt that because he was a youth advocate yeah. and he was against the fact that people come into power and they want to entrench themselves yeah, yeah, yeah. in the corridors of power. But he's today still a president, yeah. okay, for how long? Okay. That's he's a big been, question. Exactly. <laughs> he's been president for a very, very long time. time yeah. Okay. In Uganda, in their, in their um, constitution, okay, the age cap for being a president is um, measured at 75. 75? Yes. Wow. So once you're above 75, you cannot become, become president. president yeah. Yes. So at the time when Museveni was set at 73, he knew he had another bid at the presidency. He compelled parliament to okay, change the yes, after fisticuffs and everything to remove that cap away from it, <laughs> from there. Do, do you That's get one it? That's really disturbing uh, Africa. Exactly. Okay, so they had to remove that cap to pave way for Museveni. Wow. To become president. And today he's 78 years old. Okay. And he's still the president of the country. Okay, Mr. Rimo, let me, let me just fix him with this. Hmm. So, having known all these things, why why are the youth not allowed to take some key leadership positions in Africa or in Ghana? Let me, let, me, let me narrow it down to Ghana. Yes, like I have said, with the youth, we are more like a threat okay. to the older folks. Okay, and so there is no consensual, you know, effort okay. put in place to create a paved way for the youth. Okay. Now, the only thing the youth can do is that we are vibrant. Okay, we are people with a lot of energy. Okay, and so we must what? Um, advocate and fight for our rightful place at the decision-making table. And we, ma we must re-inclinate ourselves. We must change our thinking. If you commit yourself to a cause, stay true to the cause. Yeah. Okay, like Museveni's case. Okay, he was advocating for the youth. Yeah, yeah. But at the long run, he, he, cannot he became part. The same route. Thank you very much. He became part of the conservative system that was fa favoring the older folks. So we must stay true to ourselves and come to the tables with clean hands. Clean hands for yeah. who wants, for he who wants equity must come, must come with, with equity. Cl clean, hands. clean hands. Yes. Yeah. Do, you, do you get yeah. the point? Yes. So there must be that consensual, you know, effort from the youth. Yeah. That agitation must be there. That okay, we are up to task. We know what to do. We have the ability to do it, to do it. But are the youth? Do we have the ability, that knowledge, that skill, that like all the things we need to be given that now to lead economy, lead uh, in a government system? Do we have those abilities? We have all of it. Oh, really? We have the potentials. Wow. We have the ability. We have the insight. The only thing that I would say we did, we don't have 
is the experience. Oh, okay. Okay. Because so, they are not giving us the opportunity to lead. Exactly. You cannot gain experience. Exactly. If you've not been there and so before. they brainwash us that ah, you don't have experience. experience. Why do you want to be in the house of affairs? Yeah, yeah I get No, you. but the role for the for the agent actually should be that they would rather be in the background. Okay. Yeah. So when it comes to experience, you give advice so as to youth. what the youth must do. Yeah. Because it is our time. Africa is a youthful continent. Sure. And so we must be granted that privilege, okay, and that platform to exercise our potentials. Okay. That is the only way we move forward. All right. We still have Mr. Raymond here. He is the president for TIN in University of Ghana. We urge you that if you haven't subscribed yet, kindly do so and share to your friends also so that they will also enjoy this educative program. Mr. Raymond, yes, sir. Okay, now we, we are done with the leadership skill as to whether the youth have the ability to do that. Let me ask you this that in which way can we, the youth, contribute to building up the nation? You see, there are a lot of ways that the youth can contribute okay. meaningfully to decision making okay. and development in this country. Okay, there are people because of the excesses of politics and the vitriolic nature of it. Okay. They try they tend to distance themselves away from politics. Now there are other avenues that you can contribute. People become entrepreneurs, humanitarians and all of that. These are all ways within which we can, you can contribute, contribute to, to nation building. Nation. Okay. I would first of all advise the youth that wherever you find yourself in your immediate society, ensure that you are impacting life. Sure. Okay, ensure that by effect you are effecting change, change. Okay. in your immediate society. Because the essence of life is not just about yourself. It is about the people around you and your immediate environment. But notwithstanding the best okay platform to be able to effect change and make meaningful impact in society is politics. Okay. Politics. That is politics. Okay. That is the only platform. We have political parties. Is, is it because you are into politics you are saying that or that's a fact? No, it is the fact. Okay. Generally. Okay. It is the fact. Politics enables you. It empowers you. Okay. It gives you what you need. The requisite, you know, uh, rubrics okay. of leadership, leadership to be able to effect change in, in you know, a larger, you know, circumference. Okay. 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 Now, I might have potentials but I can only effect change meaningfully okay. and willingly in my immediate environment. Okay. But just imagine that I'm given the platform to become president. I can, repli I can replicate What's that effort here, here on a larger scale. Yeah. The whole country, everybody tends to benefit from... What you, you're doing? Do you get yeah, the point? I get you. Yes, and so despite the excesses of politics, how vindictive it is or what so not, okay, let's endeavor. Okay. Let's engage. The country is ours. Yeah. Just imagine that Wallace did not uh, 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 stand up to say that, no, he's fed up of the rigged system. He no longer wants to be part of a system that only favors a selective few. Yeah. We wouldn't have been ushered into the Fourth Republic. Yeah. So that is all how we must always see things. That is how we must always you know, put current happenings into contest. Okay. Okay? There was a system, and it was not favoring everybody. Yeah. It was favoring the selective few. Rollins was at the time around 28, 29 a young years. Person. A young person, a junior military man. Okay. He was having a junior rank in the military, but he was able to, you know, galvanize support okay. from his colleagues and all of that. And they were able to overturn and topple the rig system. That is how we must think of things in this current in this current situation. Okay. Okay. So Mr. Let me just chip in with this. Yeah. Now there are a lot of avenues the youth can contribute to the nation building. Yeah. So I want to know, why are the youth not doing so? What is the demotivating factor here that the youth are not really helping or engaging, or I mean, are not geared up for contributing to building the nation? Well, there are a couple of factors. Okay. One, I'd say lack of interest. Okay. Okay. And then incapability. Okay. That is two. And then also, the vindictive nature of politics. Okay. You know, politics means leadership. Yeah. So when it comes to lack of interest, 
there are a group of people who feel that they are well to do whatever they need they are okay with that they they get whatever they need and so there is no there is no need to you know venture into politics do you get it while forgetting the fact that there are other people you know who are not even able to um, meet some basic necessities of life that is your responsibility as well it is mine they don't know all they think is about themselves about their families so that is the lack of interest you know they are self sufficient and so there is no need to okay. you know do all of that okay. that is they don't concern themselves with and then also like i've always maintained politics is the single most you know broadest structure okay that offers you the platform to, to exercise your leadership, leadership skills. potentials yeah. okay but like i've already said just use uganda as a case study yeah. classical case study look at um, bobby wine okay he's a youth okay and he has also dared to defy the odds, yeah. defy the status quo. But look at the, the, the treatment the, 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 treat, the way they are. Do, do you yeah, get it? Yeah. Look at the treatment to the point where his innocent wife had I to watched be that abused. Video. You watched the video, yes. had to be abused just to it was you know, deter very him. Awful. Very, very awful. Very awful. Okay, very, very awful. So these are some of the excesses of politics. These are some of the disincentives to the youth. Yeah. They are afraid. If we see this, how will I even want to venture to this you risky won't. You, uh, venture? Exactly, you get the point. Yeah. So these are some of the ways. Once you show up to, to, to threaten the order, the, conserv the conservative order, yeah. then your life is at risk. Surely. And people are not willing to sacrifice that of much. Of course, I am not also. Because Exactly. <laughs> Okay, soup is sweet, as we always say. <laughs> exactly. Surely. So some people are not willing really to yeah. sacrifice that much for, for the cause of a country or their society. So this is just by the very few, you okay. know, disincentives that deter the young people oh, from, from entering into politics okay. and leadership spaces. All right. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's getting very hotter here and very soon we will bring in our conversation to an end. We still have Mr. Raymond here to help us. He is the president of TAIN in the University of Ghana. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, kindly do so and click on the notification bell so that you get alert of every post we make. You can also share to your friends to enjoy this educative program as well. And as I said earlier, if you are a business or a firm and you want to place an advert or sponsor this program, you can contact management on 0550-442-973, 0550-442-973. If you're a young person out there and you're also making and touching lives and you want to be featured on this program, you can also call the same number, 0550 442 970 and we take it from it. Let's end it here with Mr. Mr. Raymond. Yes. Before we, we close everything, I want to know that having <coughs> mentioned the demotivating factors and everything, now we want to solve this issue. How can the youth be geared up to contribute to national development? You see, there must be, like I've already said, a concerted effort. Okay. Uh, uh, an effort in one direction. Okay. With the youth mass, you know, re-incline our thinkings okay. and ensure that whatever course we want to take we are committed as a group to it okay it doesn't come to the table when we are supposed to make an argument for the youth okay. then the leader of that youthful you know agitation okay. or that youthful call okay joins the conservative order okay, okay. that is the first factor then secondly, we ourselves as individuals, we must build capacity. Okay. Okay, it is very important. You cannot want to be in the helms of affairs when you don't have skills, yeah. when you don't have potentials. Yeah. So you must work on yourself. Make sure that you abreast yourself, okay, and equip yourself with the requisite requirements okay. of being a leader. Okay, we all have our roles in nation building. Sure. The country belongs to everybody. We are Ghanaians. We are bounded as a country. And so all times we must think about this nation, how we can effect our changes. Okay. okay? The fact that the system does not create space for you, for you. does not mean you must relent. Yeah. Do, do you understand the I, point? I get you. Exactly. So you must show the effort. You must do things that would show people. Heaven helps those who help, help themselves. themselves. Okay, so when you put it on your laps, someone help you carry it onto your on head. your head. Yeah. Do you get it? I get so you. first of all, we must show that. We are ever ready Thank to We are up to up, task. Yeah. We are fit for purpose. Yeah. And so leadership must be bequeathed unto us. All right. That way, the optics says that, okay, it is the system. If the system refuses to do that, then there is now an agitation to overhaul that system. Yeah. 
okay, because we cannot continue to have a group of older folks, okay, who for self-indulgent reasons entrench themselves in the corridors of power yeah. at the detriment and the peril of the, the youth young people. and the young people, yeah. women and children, yeah. ordinary Ghanaian, ordinary citizens of society. Yeah. That is what is currently happening in Africa. in Africa. Look at a country like Equatorial Guinea. Okay, look at Cameroon, Paul Bia. Yeah. He is the longest serving president Africa has ever had. Equatorial Guinea, uh, his name is keeping me. You look at, um, there's this case of Zimbabwe. Yeah. Okay, Zimbabwe have had Mugabe for a couple of years. And until recently, when he, he turned age 93, he had to be toppled from government. Yeah. And now look who, who has replaced Mugabe as president, a 75-year-old MSN. I, I heard something that if an elderly person dies and you replace that person in our family system, let me say it in Chisa, we get it all. Let's say, now the are there. You're only, uh, I mean, postponing the date of another funeral. Do you understand? Actually, uh, in, in a couple of years, uh, uh, that, you're going to have another you see, funeral. Thank you very much to, for, for, for fitting it in yeah. a very you know, relatable context yeah. for people to understand. I'm not too much abreast with the tree yeah, yeah, language, yeah. but a lot of people would associate with that. Yeah. Okay, you topple an older folk and then you replace it with an older folk. folk. Yeah. Okay, a, a Emerson of Zimbabwe, who is the current president, is 75 years old. I see. Okay, the, the situation of Equatorial Guinea, his name is Theodora. Theodora something. He's also a very old folk. Okay. In the seventies and all. Okay. So we the youth must see that no, there is a rich system, a system that does not favor us. Sure. If we have a youthful population, then it must be led by youthful people. people. Not a few selected uh, older folks. Okay. okay. Who are only advancing their self-serving interests and that of you know their immediate confines. Okay. Okay. So um, it, it's so sad that we would have to bring it to an end here. It's getting hotter and hotter, but this is where time will permit us. Today we have had Mr. Tamaklo Raymond Adam, sorry, for, forgive me for that. Raymond Adam Tamaklo, who is the team president on the campus of University of Ghana to come in and help us with the analysis for today. And you bear witness with whatever we said here, it has been very educative. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, kindly do so and click on the notification bell so that you get alert of every post we make. Kindly subscribe and share to your friends also. Mr. Tamaklu, yes, thank you very much for having you in. But no, before I go, yeah. in just 30 seconds, share your experience as team president with us. Oh. Just in 30 seconds. In 30 seconds. Yeah. Uh, I would like to see the journey has been very insightful. Okay. Um, it has been very revealing okay. and has also been very demanding. Yeah. But these are only processes that prepare you for future engagements sure. and indulgence. Okay. You understand? I am a person who I am very enthused and fascinated by politics. Okay. I would like to contribute my own personal quota to the development of this country. Okay. And once I find myself in the confines of the University of Ghana, I must make sure I build requisite you know, skills, skills and potentials for I that. push you there. Exactly. Yeah. And I, I think that currently on the University of Ghana campus, when it comes to Tain, a lot of people, I'm not trying to blow my horn, yeah. but a lot of people would attest to the fact that Tain has become very attractive. It is now the most uh, vibrant, vibrant student association on campus. Okay. And every level 100, every fresher is, you know, yearning to and join. To exactly. Join. Okay. But also, there's no politics though, yeah. but the NDC uh, has proven to be the only political party that grants, you know, opportunity to the youthful Young population. Okay. I can talk about the likes of um, Edem Magbana, okay. okay, who is just 29 years in old. In 30 seconds. Yeah, in 30 <laughs> seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, the likes of Edem Magbana, okay. the likes, you see, so Tain, Tain and the NDC has demonstrated enough. And okay. I would I like to encourage every young person who has interest in politics to join Tain on campus, wherever they find themselves. And let's put ourselves to work. It is about networking. It is about building ourselves for future engagement okay. in the interest, in the sole interest of our country. Thank you very much. And I'm very grateful for having you. Thank you show. so much, Mr. Yeah. Mr. Tamaklo. So this is where we will end it. Until I see you again next time, it has been your host, Osei Kwekuchumesi. Thank you. Bye-bye.